Hi, I'm Peter Chatteris. I'm here with the lovely Megan, who owns 20E Tanifar Street. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, when we started looking for a home, we went through this subdivision because we really like this area. Mm. And it was an amazing opportunity to have our pick of houses, really. Mm. And I mm. would have looked through easily 30 of the houses in this subdivision, narrowed it down, and then got to about 10, where I brought my husband in to get him to look as well. Mm. And he'd worked mm. in the building industry, so he was behind the scenes, climbing in the manholes, seeing how things were finished off. And this was the one that we fell in love with, because it's got all-day sun, it's got sea views, and it's really quiet. It's down the end of the driveway. And being down the end of the driveway means we've got massive parking as yeah, well. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, that if people come and visit you, they're not parking off street. They're actually parking on the property. So if it's raining, they don't get wet. That's yes. a huge plus, especially for a new build. It is, because a lot of the places we looked at, you couldn't park anywhere down the drive. Mm. So if you mm. had visitors, they'd be hiking on the street, and some of the streets are narrow as well, whereas this is a big wide You're going to have to sell them umbrellas or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had six tradesmen's vehicles down there, truly. Six of them. Yeah. And, and you've also count. got a two-car garage, so you, and also room for bicycles or a water toy or something like that. So you've got mm. a huge amount of vehicle space. But not only vehicle space, you've got a lot of other storage space I've noticed in this home. We have. It's huge. Everywhere we look, there's more cupboards, which is great because mm. we've all got probably more things than we need. You can hide them all in here. Yeah, well, I get told that all the time, but uh, we haven't got as much storage space as you've got here. Now, tell us about the views because the views, um, especially from Ricky's room in particular. He's got a lovely view because he's a little bit higher. Mm. That's what we liked about the house too is it's on four different levels and it's yeah. Quite lovely going up and down. So he's on the very top level and he actually sleeps with a Roman blind up because he likes to look at the lights mm. out over the sea. And it's lovely and private because mm. we don't have any houses really looking in on us on those sides of the house. Mm. It's really private. So he can have the blind up and not need to worry about anybody staring at him. Yeah, for new build in Waitaki Bay, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you've lived in this place, you've, uh, you've added things to this place, so you've actually added value from over the new builds. Mm -hmm. So someone who's coming into this property, it's going to get an extremely good buy. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You know, it's a haven from the fast life or maybe a job. It is. I still can't believe that we're selling, really, because we spend so much time looking. And this truly is the best house in the whole suburb, I think. Value for money, what you get here is quite amazing. And it is so sunny. The sun, you see the sunrise from the bedrooms mm. and then it just travels around the lounge and in summertime I had to pull the blinds in the middle of the day because it was so hot. Mm. Well, we've mm. got the, the sun screens. Mm. Mm. And then you've got the sun coming in in the evening on mm. this side. So it's so lovely and warm and the I've got a clothes area upstairs mm. in the second lounge mm. and I can dry things off there. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I, th I think that's something that uh, a lot of new builds don't build in, do they? they? They don't have sort of space for those old-fashioned clothes lines and some of the things like the deck, you know, they're very narrow, but you've got an amazing deck out there that oh, flows yeah. from the inside. The deck is huge. It makes our table, which looked really big on the deck in the previous house, Makes it look small, mm. yeah. And then there's the cobble or the paved area outside for the bar yeah. as well. No, you've just added so that. much space. You've added no, that was here. That, that was, was all done. That's fabulous. For a new build, they're adding things to them, but then Megan and Will come along and they're adding value. Like I said, that is unique in Waitaki Bay. You need to come and see this place to actually understand yourself just what they've done here. It's, it's the jewel in the crown of Waitaki Bay in my opinion. I think of all of the houses I've seen, I, and I know, this has got the best sun and the most privacy, I think. And it is so quiet. Honestly, I wake up to birdsong mm. in the mornings, which I did not expect mm. in the city. Mm. It's, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm. I mean, Tui, we, we heard a Tui uh, yesterday, actually, up uh, in uh, Red Beach. And we were thinking, we don't hear that in the city, mm. but you're hearing it here. There's a pee waka waka, which is quite often, you know, a fantail, mm. in the trees out the back. 
Mm. Which is quite lovely. I haven't seen that in the city. Now you mentioned your business too. Let's get let's get people in, uh, liking what you're doing. You want to tell people wow, what you're doing? Wow, yes. We've got beehives. So we're producing manuka honey, mostly, but some bush honey. And the beehives are located at the moment in Matamata. So it just makes no sense for mm. us to have a lovely home here mm. when Will is working in Matamata. So you bought your dream home. You're leaving it for a dream business. And somebody is going to inherit a dream home. I wonder if that's going to be you. The only way you're going to tell, as I said, is to come along and see Megan and Will's home and see for yourself. Try and understand what they've done for this place. Try and understand what you, what lifestyle you can lead in this place. Picture yourself with that, that beautiful deck out the back. Picture yourself with people coming down the driveway in six cars. And we've got two-car garage. Mm -hmm. Not having to walk through rain. It really is an entertainer's paradise. Oh, and not to mention the balcony. Yes. The barbecue area. Of course. Look, we could espouse for 20 or 30 minutes about this mm. home. We really could. The first time I walked into it, it, it the whole home had a wow factor to it. Mm. You know, so, so often you go through a home, it's one or two th sort of things. You say, oh, wow. This place, as soon as we walked in and down these stairs here, it was wow. Yes. Yeah. Everybody loves it. That's yeah. a really common reaction when people arrive. Yeah. Is wow. And it's unexpected as well. You're not quite sure when you're walking down the driveway mm. what you're going to find at the yeah. end. And yeah. then you turn the corner and there it is. Yeah. Tumbling down the side of the hill. Kind of like a castle. Thing. It is. Mm. Oh, yeah, because that's the other thing that I really love. Well, there's so many things. Because we're up high in the bedrooms, you've mm. got this amazing feeling of space. Mm. It's just. Well, Megan, I really appreciate you telling us what uh, what you feel about the house. It's super important that we get that information out to you, the buyer. And so you might come and you might see other attributes to the home, but by Megan telling us it's what she's enjoyed about it and also what she and Will looked for in a house and this is what they've found. So this is Peter Charis with Megan saying thanks so much for, uh, for looking at this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can ring me on 027 663 That's 027 663 My partner Jude is available on 021 277 844. 021 Or you can just ring 0800 Jude and Pete. 0800 Jude and Pete. And we'll give you all the information that you need to make a decision about this beautiful place. Megan, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. <laughs>